this is my first ever YouTube video. Yay! Welcome to my brand new channel, Making Up Miranda. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, why I'm starting this channel, and what you'll expect to see on here. I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate. I'll get a little closer so you can see here my scars there. Uh, I've had a lot of surgeries for my condition and growing up I didn't know or talk to anyone else with it. I felt super alone and though I did have access to the internet, there wasn't a lot of resources that I found that I could talk to other people, specifically adults, with it until very, very recently. Being a part of these groups have shown me that I'm not alone. There are a lot of other people in my same position and if they felt anything like I felt all those years, I just want them to know that they're not alone either. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for years now, but I never really felt truly ready to do it um, until recently, obviously. It's something that I've struggled my entire life with. You know, it's it's a part of me I kind of just wanted to forget, and <laughs> but you can't. You look in the mirror every day and you know, you see it. So I'll be sharing more of my story and talking about how my surgeries and more in, more in depth in other videos. But as I'm getting older and becoming more comfortable in my own skin, you know, there's other outlets that I'm able to use to express myself like beauty and fashion and art and all of that. It's really helped me cope with my condition and you'll see other videos regarding these topics like shopping hauls, outfit try-ons, um, again talking about my surgeries more in depth and what cleft lip and cleft palette is, uh, maybe even some hair and makeup tutorials later down the road. Um, yes, having a cleft lip and palette is a huge part of me and my personal appearance, but it's not all of me. You know, there are a lot of other aspects of my personality that make me unique and that make up me. I'm finally at an okay place mentally to talk about my condition. I did fight it for most of my life. I did not want to accept it. I thought that one day I would just wake up and it would be gone <laughs> for some reason. Uh, you know, some people come to terms with it earlier than others. You know, it's taken me almost 30 years to finally come to that spot myself. But I'm hoping that me talking about it and how it's affected me will continue to help me personally on my own journey of healing and acceptance and inner growth, but also be a resource for others on this path as well. Most treatments stop at 18 for those with cleft lip and palate. Um, and I'm starting to explore some further treatments and surgeries, and I want to discuss those and document my experience if anyone else is searching for something similar as well. Again, I really haven't found any resources on my own for this, so I want to be able to have other people look to me as a resource for those things. I just want to share what's been helpful for me. It can be tough living with cleft lip and palate. You know, at times it's really not easy. There has been a lot of low moments for me personally but there's a lot of great things that have come out of it. And being able to finally talk about them openly with others is, I hope, one of them. Someone will find this video and maybe can relate to what I've gone through. And again, just have some peace of mind and knowing that you're not alone. So if you want to learn more about cleft lip and palate, what it is, how it's affected my life, learn about my experience with it, how I deal with my surgeries, bullying, dating, all of that, or 
maybe you just found out that your baby is going to be born with a cleft lip or palate and you want to find out what their experience is going to be like, then definitely subscribe and turn on your notifications for new videos. I'll be trying to put one out every two weeks to start off with. Um, again, this is my very first one, so I'm very new at it, not sure what to totally expect, um, but I'm very excited to start. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.